If you want to classify your input data into categories, you will build classification models and classification models are also referred to as classifiers. When you talk about machine learning algorithms, there are four broad categories into which they can be divided. Classification models output a category or a discrete value, true or false, yes or no. Is the image a cat, bird or a mouse? All of these are examples of classification. If you want to predict a continuous numeric value rather than a category, you will build regression models. What is the price of this house given its location and the number of rooms that it has? Clustering is another machine learning technique that you'll use to find logical groupings in your data and dimensionality reduction is what you'll use when you want to extract significant features from your data. This is a course on classification using scikit-learn. We'll focus our attention on classification models. Let's say you're building a classification model to predict whether whales are fish or mammals. You can consider whales to be mammals because they are members of the infraorder Cetacea, or you might consider them to be fish because they look like fish, swim like fish, and move with fish. Your objective is to build a machine learning based classifier model to differentiate between fish and mammals, and you'll use it to classify whales. Now, your ML based classifier needs to be trained. You need to feed in a large corpus of data that has been correctly classified and this is the corpus that your classification model will use to learn from data. Once you have a fully trained model, you'll use it for prediction. You'll use the model to classify new instances that the model has never encountered before. Once training is complete, you'll feed in features of the new instance that you want classified. If this is our fish versus mammal classifier, you'll feed in the details of a whale. It breathes like a mammal, it gives birth like a mammal, and hopefully your ML-based classifier is a good one and it'll tell you that the whale is actually a mammal. In a traditional machine learning-based classifier, the output of the classifier depends on what you feed in. Let's say you feed in some other information about a whale. It moves like a fish, it looks like a fish. Your classifier is quite likely to categorize it as a fish. For traditional machine learning based classifiers, which is what we'll deal with in this course, you need to feed in the right features to get the right prediction. So here are the steps in building up your ML based binary classifier. You have a corpus of data that you feed into a classification algorithm to get a classification model or a classifier. Now the classification algorithm can be one of many naive based support vector machines, decision trees. These are all classification algorithms that we'll study in this course, but the simplest possible classification model is logistic regression and that we'll study in a lot of detail in the next clip. But before we get there, let's talk briefly about training your machine learning model. Now, when you train your model, you have an objective function or loss function that you try to minimize. So you feed in a corpus of training data to your ML based classifier, you get a classification at the output. As you're training your machine learning model and getting it to learn from the training data, there is some feedback that you need to feed back into your model to improve its parameters. This feedback is the loss function or the cost function, also known as the objective function. The idea behind training your model is to minimize the loss function. And this minimization of the loss function improves your model parameters and makes it a more robust model for prediction. 